What do you do when your late night carpool karaoke session is interrupted by strange shadows lurking just outside the corners of your eyes? These guys seem to shrug it off and carry on grooving, but when they watch the video back, they realize their camera captures something truly bizarre. Let's watch. Bet you missed it, didn't you? Watch closely. At first, it's easy to assume it could be just someone running near the road. But why did it seem to vanish into thin air? And why did it look so pale? Plus, it sprinted out of the pitch black, seemingly without a torch. So did it have night vision? Something about it just looks really off, doesn't it? The figure itself is human in shape. But could it be residual energy showing a never-ending loop of a ghostly apparition who once had the misfortune of running into an ongoing vehicle? Or could it be something a little less unexplainable? Let us know your thoughts. The following scary video was captured at stupid o'clock in the woods near Flassy, France, when a group of friends decided to set up a campfire and crack open a few cold ones. They were all a bit tipsy when the two girls of the group spotted what they initially assumed to be a dog. Little did they know, that was the day everyone would witness a close encounter with their worst nightmare. Take a look. You have seen something encore? Bouger? Bon, toi là. Il y a un truc là-bas Il y a un truc derrière là. Attendez. Minou, minou, minou, j'ai fouetté ta mère. Putain Putain. Il est mignon le chat. Ouais, il est un peu gros le chat, j'aime pas ça. Ouais, j'aime barrer. Il est mignon le chat. Oh, non Bah, il y a un. Oh, c'est deux fils de gueule. Pourquoi t'as laissé tomber la porte Pour éclairer, putain What fresh hell is that? Did you see the long ass fingers? No wonder the girl started freaking out with the way that thing was lurking behind the tree. The video ends abruptly, so no idea what happened after that, but we could hear the distress in their voices at the very end. The quality makes it quite difficult to get any defining features of the uninvited guests. But what we can see is the oversized head, large dark eyes and a long bony hand. With that said, we came up with a few theories. First, on the skeptical side, it could be one of their friends in a costume or maybe some creepy CGI. The obvious signs that come with it would be hidden by the poor video quality after all. But what if this video is real and that was a creepy dude in the woods watching them and waiting for the right moment to do whatever the hell creepy dudes like to do at stupid o'clock. Heck, could they have somehow managed to catch a real life cryptid on camera? Analyzing their reactions and the creepy humanoid figure, which one do you think happened here? Deep in the hills, there lies an old house whose walls have absorbed sheer terror over the years, once being the home of a man who allegedly took his last breath at the hands of black magic bestowed upon him by a shepherd furious that he denied him permission to marry his daughter, or so the story goes, as told by this urban explorer over on the In The Dark YouTube channel. He explored this house one night, attempting to make contact with the spirits that inhabited the walls. After finding a way in, he crept through into the building, never expecting the power of what lay within. Take a look. <laughs> Oh, 
Yine de adam ses geliyor. Bismillah, bismillah. Hiçbir şey yok. Uf. Ya bu kapılar kapandı mı var ya. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ya az önce gösterdim hiçbir şey yoktu. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Arkadaşlar. Bismillah. Bismillah. Oh. Kendimi göstereyim. İçeriye girdim. Tekrar çıktım. Ve yine ses geldi. Tekrar girdiğimde bu sefer ben içerideyken kapı kapandı arkadaşlar. Bakın yine ses geliyor. Bakın bu sefer karşı oldu. İlahin nas, min şerri vasvasin annas, ellezi vesvesin. One thing we love about Samit's videos is the fact that he leaves no stone unturned. He goes above and beyond to figure out who could be behind these pranks, showing us every area of the rooms, even under the mattress. After a bit of deliberation, he heads back in to try and catch something on camera. And boy, did he get just what he wanted. From here on out though, it all starts to go crazy and he probably left with a few bruises. Take a look. Yes, oh, oh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Çaydanlık nereden geldi ya? Bu burada yoktu. Şu şuradaki Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Arkadaşlar kapağı gördünüz mü? Kimin kapı açıldı? Yine oradan ses geldi. Allah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Oh. 
Hangi arkamda? Bismillah. Elimi kestim. Elimi kestim. Pretty crazy stuff, isn't it? Sure, this could be all achieved by a working team taking advantage of the dark, open environment and crumbling nature of the house to pull things around while remaining unseen. And there is no real, factual backup that the whole Black Magic Shepherd story is true either. Still, pretty scary to think that he could be sharing a space with spirits so deeply associated with Black Magic. Either way, he cut the video short after he was pelted with random objects, saying the camera had run out of charge. But there's no doubt he was glad to haul ass out of there. When you see a rocking chair, your mind tends to jump to one of two things. Either a little old lady doing her knitting by the fireplace, or one hard paranormal punch in the face. For the kid in this video, it was the latter. Did you see that shadow? Creepy, right? Sure, the reactions themselves come across a little bit over the top. Whoever let out that scream is a few decibels away from the famous Wimhelm scream. But the meat of this video is that ascending shadow. It seems to be rocking with the chair until it stands up. Everything happens way too fast for a proper analysis. But before we jump into a paranormal assumption, if it's fake, how could they have done it? Well, first, the video quality is too poor for good judgement, but the proportions and dimensions of the shadow look a little bit iffy, almost like something was being dangled from a string in front of a light that was shining on the wall. Still, they'd have to be very patient to time it so damn well. But the fact that the camera never spun around to show us the other side of the room just sets those skeptic senses tingling. These are just assumptions though. What if they really captured a shadow person on camera? What do you think? Nothing short of a shadow puppet show? Or something a little more sinister? Let us know. If you've watched any paranormal content online, you'll know that the ring doorbells and any kind of home security cameras capture enough creepy content to make a blockbuster horror movie, and this clip is no exception to the rule. Have a look at the footage this person managed to catch on their CCTV. What on earth are those things? While there seems to be a common theme in dubious paranormal content, where the video itself has been recorded on a very crisp camera, we can still make out the shapes, and it looks like two small people in little cloaks. They're both around the same height as the car wheel, which ranges from about 14 to 21 inches tall. No idea where this video was filmed, so depending on the wildlife native to that area, it could have been anything from bush rabbits to other more exotic animals. There's a chance anything here could have been impacted by common compression errors associated with these types of cameras too. But what if it isn't? What if this CCTV managed to capture evidence of mythical creatures like gnomes, goblins, or even demonic imps roaming around the real world? of Warcraft. You know, I really wish I had a garden where I could put a couple of human statues. When your dog starts barking in the middle of the night, your mind tends to jump to the worst of the worst. 
But what do you do when instead of the threat of a home invasion, there is nothing at all? Or so it seems. That's precisely what happened to this family, except they checked their home security cameras later on and saw exactly what their dog was barking at. Take a look. What looks like a pair of legs without a torso seems to be dashing across the street. Usually, when this type of figure is captured on CCTV cameras, the image quality is really poor. But in this case, everything seems so clear apart from the strange runner. Without getting into too many boring details, most CCTV cameras have limited amounts of storage per frame. So to save space, the camera would essentially merge elements of the video but there's something particularly eerie about this one. If this clip was just a person running past a house, could a CCTV camera with such great quality cut off their body and only include their legs where the significant movement was? Or did the headless horseman lose his horse and his torso? The following clip might make you reconsider that camping trip you had planned. If you've ever seen the Blair Witch Project, you will know that you should probably take caution in the middle of the woods at night. These guys, however, just ran in all guns blazing. After sharing a smoke and setting up a campfire, they decide the best way to tender the camping experience was to go and investigate their surroundings, which led them finding some suspicious stuff, to say the least. They felt a little uneasy because of the strange trinkets lying around, but they never expected to find this waiting for them in the next building. the hell was that? Whatever it was, it seemed to be hanging upside down like a bloody vampire. 
While you can argue that the lack of more visuals is a clear cop-out and that the audio could have been added during editing, the group's reaction seems pretty genuine. There are some comments on the video suggesting that this was an amateur short film, and there are some signs, such as the editing style being very found footage horror style, and the video itself is a complete 180 from any other content on this dude's YouTube channel. He usually posts short parkour content, but after a one year break, he comes out with this. What's the verdict though? Do you think this was some kind of film project, or are all the urban legends about the depths of the woods true? Let us know what you think in the comments. Found a scary video you'd like us to feature? Send us a link on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at GhostPimplesYT. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get a notification for all our new scary compilations. A massive shout out to our viewers Becky Davies and Gary Kerr Peterson for suggesting this next channel. Ghost Theory has been a big name in the paranormal game for a while, always capturing thought provoking footage in every video. This time, the duo found an abandoned house that was still a chock a block with stuff. But the further they delved into this hovel, the more they realised that they weren't the only ones creeping around. What was that? What? Right off. What the f is happening? Shall I leave my camera in here for a bit? No. Did you not hear that then? That was in there again. The camera's in there. They stayed for a little bit longer after hearing this, hoping to catch something in full view of the camera. Pulling out the spirit box, they tried to communicate with who or whatever was juggling objects around. After a few minutes of sod all, they turned on their heels and walked back into the kitchen. But what happened next made them wish they had never entered. But did you hear, like... Yeah, I heard stuff in here. It's like it was almost making, making their way from here, listening to us. Like, mm. through there. <laughs> F my God! What the f me? That was like something just in shadow. I felt like I just got punched in the face almost, but I didn't, obviously. What happened here would probably make you jump right out of your skin too, if you were inside a creepy ass dark room like this one. There is always a chance that the footage could be edited, of course, but at the same time, these guys pride themselves on their authentic paranormal footage and actively try to prove it's all genuine. What do you think? Filmmakers or raw, real paranormal evidence? Make up your mind by checking out more videos on their channel, Ghost Theory, on YouTube. Again, a huge thank you to our lovely viewers Becky Davies and Erika Peterson for suggesting this channel. Most cave videos we share here are terrifying due to claustrophobia alone, but this one has something else up its sleeve. Take a look. From the murky background we can make out that this video claims to capture footage of a real life gnome wandering through a caving system in Poland. The original uploader is unknown and there have been no developments or updates surrounding it at all as it was initially uploaded on 4chan years ago. 
as suspicious as this all seems, including the usual red flag of bad camera quality, it seems even more unlikely that these people found a small child, dressed them up and had them wander around a cave for a good shoot. So, what the hell was that thing at the end of the tunnel? It had the stance and stature of a humanoid, but it was so far away we couldn't make out any defining features. Do you think this is proof of gnomes wandering around underground? Let us know in the comment section. Hey, here's a playlist full of creepy stuff caught on camera for you to enjoy. Don't forget to bump the like button, subscribe and click on the bell icon to avoid missing our weekly spookfest. Thanks for watching. Stay in the dark. <laughs>